This is Matrix Lord 212, and no one's going to ask the first question if no one has memory or memories of the person they're asking the question about. If no one remembers the doctor, no one's going to ask who he is, basically. So um, that's what I think is going to happen. And if the question is asked, uh, because of his new adventures, then he's going to simply answer with the doctor, and then everybody's probably going to remember. So, um, it, it, there is good things and bad things with Asylum of the Daleks, uh, where they they their memories were erased. Um, and I'm going to say the bad things because it's something I didn't talk about. Basically. You're, you are the Daleks. You are the race that battled the Time Lords in the Time War. You have multiple, multiple, beyond centuries records of all your accomplishments and losses. Um, and basically, you know, if you're researching the databank, you'll look at the times you lost and try to come up with ways to win. So if you have I guess thousands and thousands of years of history and you have no idea why you lost because the person that defeated you is erased from your databank then obviously the Daleks are probably going to go crazy because how could you explain how you lost if you don't even remember the person that defeated you so I think there's going to be massive massive chaos with the Daleks um, I think that the next time they encounter the doctor, um, they they don't fear him anymore because they don't remember him. So they're going to shoot without even giving him a chance to talk. They don't give anybody a chance to talk, so they're going to shoot at him. Okay, and this is going to run into a problem with the doctor because the fear is something that kept them at bay. It was, it was a way for him to trick them or do something to defeat them. And without that fear, he's not going to be the one that's going to be afraid because he's going to have to, I mean right now he thinks it's great that they don't remember him, but it's a bad thing that he's going to find out firsthand when one of his companions is probably going to get killed. So um, he's going to find out the hard way that he needs to be remembered. He needs everyone to remember him. So um, that's going to be a big big problem. And another thing is, like uh, like I said, in Doctor Who Series 1, the Doctor gave Mickey uh, a virus to wipe out his map, like the old records of him on Earth, but that didn't work. So at some point in time, the Daleks are going to come across another race or Cybermen or something. They're going to look at their records on the Doctor, um, and then there's going to be a problem because they're going to get even more pissed off when they find out who he is because he actually accomplished something that nobody else was able to do, is erase their own databanks. So they're going to go ballistic. Um, Davros is the only one that remembers him. And if they encounter Davros, then they will um, get the memories back of him. Another thing, too, um, you can't forget the Doctor without... And then the Time Lord you're going to remember? You're going to remember the Master? I mean... There's going to be some type of paradox where the Daleks are going to have to figure this out. Um, but like I said, he, the Doctor thinks it's a good thing that they forgot him, but it's not a good thing. Because, you know, by him doing all these adventures, it made him stronger uh, to deal with a lot of different races. Like, some races wouldn't even battle him knowing who he was. So, um, this is going to cause a problem. This is going to cause a problem. So the doctor has to find a way to get uh, the memories back to the Daleks. Um, and another thing, too, is, you know, we have a parliament. We have Scarrow. How the heck did Scarrow wind up there? Um, well, here's the thing. Like I said in other videos when I first started out, you know, Scarrow was supposedly destroyed at the hands of the Seventh Doctor in remembrance of the Daleks when he launched the Hand of Omega. He tricked Davros into launching it, which exploded their own sun. You don't know if Scarrow was destroyed, but if the, if the sun went supernova, it would have swallowed Scarrow whole. Now, my theory is that because they didn't want Scarrow to be destroyed, 
they kind of developed their technology to steal planets, which connects to stolen Earth. Uh, but they did it on Scarrow first because they wanted to save their planet. Um, or maybe they did it with the other planets first and then they saved Scarrow afterwards. Um, but basically, they took Scarrow uh, out of that whole entire galaxy and prevented it uh, from getting destroyed. Now, I don't think that Scarrow was in the time lock, but then again, why is Gallifrey in the time lock and not Scarrow? So, if you have a war and there's, there's both sides, like wouldn't you have Scarrow in the time lock with Gallifrey? Unless, of course, Gallifrey is not in the time lock anymore either. So, that's another question. Uh, because the lady that you supposedly the doctor's mother escaped in the beginning of in the time uh, and it's you know out of order so so Scaro is the mystery uh, because we did see Scaro in the eighth doctor's adventure in the beginning where they killed the master to piss off the time lords to start the time war which the time lords knew that the time war uh, was going to happen that's why they sent the doctor the fourth doctor to Inverted and he didn't. So, um, a lot of things going on with the Daleks. Uh, but this 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 is other thing that I was thinking about because the cracks really wasn't explained fully before the cracks were going on. No one remembered the Daleks. No one remembered the Cybermen from Next Doctor. So now all of a sudden there's a pattern where no one's going to be remembering the Doctor for some reason. Why? What is going on? Uh, and someone even said that, uh, you know, you can't change the timeline because that wouldn't make any sense. Well, the Doctor has changed the timeline. The timeline has changed from Series 5 to now, maybe like six times. So, um, you know, to explain Oswing and how he's going to save her, the Doctor changed it six times. Not even him, all of them. And I'll explain to you the timeline, so I just posted on Scribe's uh, channel. You have the first timeline with, and I'm explaining this because I'm going to explain to you how the timeline could be changed with Oswin being rescued. Um, the first timeline basically had, well, I guess the first timeline was going to be with Amy. Yeah, the first the first timeline was Amelia, and her parents got sucked into the cracks, and she grew up without them. The second timeline. Um, let's see, had to do with, um, yeah, the second time it had to do with only the Earth existing because of the Pandorica, uh, and no other planets because everything got erased, all right, and Amelia went to the museum, and then, you know, the Centurion, you know, Rory protected Amy for two dozen years. The third timeline, um, Amy grew up with her parents. Um, and that was that. The fourth timeline was, um, was it the Wedding River song? What time froze? Is that the fourth timeline? Oh, the fourth, no, I'm sorry, the fourth timeline was Melody growing up with her parents. The fifth timeline was Time Standing Still in the Wedding River song. The sixth timeline is going to be something that River does in the trailer to Angels Take Manhattan where he says you just changed the future. She changes the timeline. The seventh timeline I'm guessing is going to be that the doctor because he's so pissed off that he loses Amy and Rory to death, they die, that he just goes and visits Amelia when he never did before. And he crosses his own time stream he picks her up, they travel on an adventure, and he brings her home, and then he never comes back. Um, and this will create a reality where, because she was never, she was the girl who waited. But now by, not, by, by making her the girl that didn't wait, he alters the whole entire timeline. And Amy, Amelia becomes Amy. Amy and Rory fall in love. They get married without the doctor's interference. He'll be, he'll be doing the same thing like the bachelor party. The doctor won't be there. They'll have kids. Maybe not River, maybe other kids. And they'll go through life with probably members of the doctor, but not knowing the doctor. Okay? 
and they just they will put their finger on what's going on. That timeline that's created will be directly connected with the timeline where Oswin crashed uh, on the asylum. So she won't crash, obviously. Now they were saying that Oswin, well, he, he'll meet his companion in the most least likely of places. Um, maybe he, maybe she's a time agent. Who knows? Like, uh, like Sexy Blue said, maybe she has a test selector, which is Dalek. I don't know. But the thing is that the scribe was right about the nanogenes because the nanogenes was in the Doctor Dances, uh, an empty child, and. This is what I really thought was going to happen with River. I thought that, uh, you know, somehow the doctor's going to return to the library and use the nanogenes to recreate her DNA in her body so she could be uploaded back into her body. That's what I really thought was going to happen because I made videos about that. So that's, the scribe is right. That's probably how she's going to be saved. Um, but once again, uh, the timeline has been changing. The timeline's been changing. People are not realizing this. The timeline started changing since Father's Day, when Rose prevented her father from dying, and then the timeline was fixed. But then the timeline kept changing because there was supposed to be the fifth great empire of Earth or something, and that was changed when the Daleks took over. Okay, so the Daleks changed time, and they changed the timeline. Um, Waters of Mars had a changed timeline because, you know. Adelaide Brooks was supposed to die on Mars and not Earth, and we don't know the ramifications of the Time Lord Victorious changing that. So, um, and don't forget the Ood saying time is bleeding. It probably still bleeding because because stuff is going on. Um, and never before had the Doctor really been responsible for timelines changing like this. So what the problem is, the timelines are changing changing so much that something's got to give way. Just like traveling back and forth through parallel worlds, where they said that the walls in between will will, will shatter and things will merge. Well, that's exactly what happened with the Winning Earth song. But um, something's going to give way. What well, is it going to be a serious problem? Um, so that that's what it is. I mean, the Doctor needs to be remembered going forward. Uh, you know, this is a long video, but I had to talk about a lot of different aspects. Um, and I think that General Louise Coleman is going to make an amazing, fresh, intriguing, wonderful companion to the Doctor. But I do see that the Doctor is on his way to becoming darker and evil. Uh, I do see it. Uh, you know, and, it'll, and it's going to take him actually, beyond aim and worry, losing another companion probably where he's going to flip out. And this is why the Alliance was formed to save the universe he's gonna flip uh, I see it I see it he's gonna flip I think what he saw in the God complex was that and I, I keep saying like because I'm a the writer in me kinda like sees this the doctor witnesses his companion die in front of him he's dying himself he has to get away he regenerates and in regenerating he regenerates with a rage that creates the evil manifestation and that evil manifestation will wipe out everyone where you're gonna see Daleks running you're gonna see Cybermen running like scared babies it's gonna be like a horror movie in the universe and people are gonna be scrambling they're not gonna know what to do you're gonna the stars are going out yeah you better believe the stars are gonna go out but it's not because of the Daleks the doctor is going to become the Valyard, and he's going to be the opposite of what he is. Instead of healing people, he's going to kill everyone. So it's going to take the doctor to battle the evil doctor. So, I mean, this is coming. I mean, and if it not, if it's not the doctor, then it's the human doctor that Tom becomes the Valyard or Dream Lord or whatever. I mean, this is coming soon. Um, another thing is that I'm going to talk in another video is. Um, what was I going to talk about? Yeah, the human doctor. I'm going to make, I'll make another video about that. Alright, talk to you later.